Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today I'm going to be creating this journal page using multiple products from Graphics Arts. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using multiple graphics products. I'm going to start off with the graphics mono printing plate. I'm also going to be using that inking palette, the clear adhesive backed computer graphics film, clear stencil film, and double tack dry adhesive film. Now I'm going to start by creating that background and I'm going to use that mono printing plate as well as that inking palette. And I'm just taking some acrylic paint and spreading it around with that brayer. Now I want to add some texture to that acrylic paint. So here I'm just taking some large bubble wrap and I'm pressing it directly into the paint. And then I remove the bubble wrap, flip over that mono printing plate and just press it directly into my journal. Next I'm creating a second layer and I'm using some stencils I created using the clear stencil film. I cut out the hearts using my die cutting machine. You can use any kind of dies that you have or if you don't have a die cutting machine you can just use a pair of scissors or a um, X-Acto knife. Now here I am placing that stencil directly on top of the mono printing plate and I'm using a cosmetic sponge to fill the inside of that heart and then once I have that design I just lift up that uh, mono printing plate and then press it directly into my journal. Now the reason I'm using the mono printing plate instead of just stenciling directly into the journal is because it allows me to practice and position the design on the journal page before I commit to it. And I like having that option. Next I'm just adding some additional textures to the page. Now at this point I felt like the page was a little too bright and so I decided to add some orange acrylic spray. Now unfortunately by doing so I ended up losing a lot of the yellow and so I immediately tried to wipe it away with a baby wipe uh, but it was, it was, it was on there. And so I ended up just leaving it and adding an additional layer of texture uh, by taking some of that white acrylic paint and I'm using that punchinella again. Punchinella on top of that mono printing plate and I'm positioning it here trying to figure out where I want to place it and then I press it directly onto the page. And I finish this background by just adding some splatters of teal paint. Now that the background's complete, I printed up some images onto computer graphics film and then cut them out. Now this computer graphics film has adhesive on the back, so you can remove the protective layer and you can add this to your surface. And when I went to go do that, I felt like the image did not stand out enough. And so I decided to place the image on top of this floral book paper to help it stand out and to also give it some texture. And so I just cut out um, the excess and then I added the image into the journal using some double tack dry piece of film. And here you can see me adding some strips of leftover double tack dry piece of film onto the back so that I can add it to the journal page. And I did the same thing for the crown. I used some book paper in order to help it stand out and give it some texture and used that double tack to apply to the journal page. Now I ended up finishing this page with, yep, you guessed it, even more texture. Here I'm using a rubber stamp as well as some rub-ons and I even ended up using some markers so that I could add some color to the crown and I finished it by adding a title uh, using some letter stickers and this page is done and I really am thrilled with the way it came out. It is just jam-packed 
with texture and I love the way it looks. And so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're looking for more ideas on how to use Graphics Arts products, make sure you visit graphicsarts.com. Thanks for watching.